Ready there, brother Jace? Yeah. yeah. Well, we just had a little talk with um, guys at another church who do a, a street mission type thing. Like what Chris said, they more cater to those who are to those already getting help, you know, at the hostels and different things like that. And basically they just come in with their cups of coffee and their soups and that and just have a chat and sort of witness there at the hostels where Chris and I would go to the to the parks, to the, to the dark areas to where they sleep and where the slums are and and we sort of minister to their needs, you know, like um, blankets, food, counselling, um, stuff like that. We don't really, if they ask about the church, we sort of tell them about the church, but most of the time I've, we've found that they don't, they're not really, uh, not really coherent enough to, to go on about the church. Occasionally, we, well, I mean, we had one guy, Rob, you know, we shared the Word of God, and he's doing really well. Uh, when we met him, he was, um, well, they were smoking dope when we met them. And, um, but, but unfortunately, he goes to a different church. Fair enough, he goes to a different church, but... But this is a church. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, the, the main thing is, is, you know, God's working in his life, and he's seeking, and... Um, I'm sure God's got his hand on him because we, Chris and I and Sister Glenda, we all pray for him. Um, you know, we minister him and that, which reminds me, we might even give him a call tomorrow. Um, he's got himself a job with the council and stuff like that. And he's an indigenous person, so it's not like indigenous people can't get jobs and, and that. Um, man, like, People can get jobs. It works there if you want it, you know. It's just sin. So we try and help with dealing with the sin issue and and, and helping with the needs, you know. And our motto is is to give a hand up, not a hand out. So that's what we try to do. Anyway, we'll record it at night. As you can see, it's it's been raining. Um, all the um. All the folks on the streets have they've they've dispersed and they've they've gone and we can't find them so so um, we've we fed about 30 people tonight so you know it's sort of like a mission complete for us. Yeah. It's a good night tonight. Good night tonight, yeah. yeah. And um, they know who we are and what we represent, so. You know, if someone is hungry, like Ernestine, she's hungry for the Lord. You know, they, they're the one that talk to you and ask you about it, you know. Because they know who you are, our actions speak for themselves. You get the, you get, like, the occasional person who doesn't respect you for who, you know, like, they, oh, you're a Christian, if you're a Christian, you'll be perfect, you know, and, and all sort of stuff like that, but hey, that's just life, isn't it? Yeah. So, it can't help everybody. Yeah, it can't help everyone. You just do the best you can and, you know. We help those who want to help themselves. Yeah, that's it, you know. And basically, the scripture says, when the prodigal son came to his senses, he came back to the father and the father opened, welcomed him with open arms. So basically, we, we are going out and hoping that people, the prodigal sons and daughters will come to their senses, you know, the, the, the homeless people. I'm, I'm talking about the homeless people that choose to be there, come to their senses. Because there's people that are homeless in this place that are just there by unfortunate circumstances. But we're, we're really sort of targeting as well the ones that, are, that choose to be there. So hopefully we'll make a difference. That's our goal. In Jesus' name, man. Jesus' name. Yeah. yeah. Well... Wrap it up. Yeah, wrap yeah. it up. How are we going to wrap it up? So, um, brother Jason and brother Chris, <laughs> vision of the night. Yeah. Um, we'll have another video for you next week. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. Ciao. See you, yeah. tubers. See ya.